What is it you guys are hoping to get out of a tiny house? Well, we want it to be a tiny house and also a tiny store, too. Clothing store. Yes. yes. That was our challenge in this one. It was like how to give them a pop-up store that didn't feel like they were living out of a store yes. and not selling clothes out of their house. I mean, that was, for me, that was the hardest part. They're calling it a pop-up store, so they're hopeful that this can be both a place they live and their store. And I mean, they need a stock room, essentially. So we're going to need storage, built-ins. Okay. We're going to need shelving. We're going to need space to store all this inventory. It's a bit of a heavy responsibility because this couple is putting everything that they have into this home. It's got to work for their home, but it also has to work for their business. You didn't think the clothes just made themselves, <laughs> right? No, but you're saying you want me to build a big table that's going to be nice and sturdy so yes. that this, you know, it's good for sewing. Yep. It had to be the pop-up shop, and that basically demoted the whole living space into the back two-thirds of the house. Yeah. And so where you start out with a larger trailer, a 28-foot trailer, you're actually working with about 20 feet of living space. Yeah. This one comes out. You can turn it around. And then what looks like just nice big doors to a cabinet, the hinges just release, slide them together. And this is actually, and now you got a table and you also get your branding. I mean, I think that the ultimate litmus test was when we saw people actually come into the house and treat it as a shop and yeah. treat it as a store because that is the barometer of our success is whether or not it can be actually treated as a retail outlet. Yeah, certainly for this case. We're, We're open for business! <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it so much. Look how gorgeous this is. Welcome to the tiny house community. Congratulations, you guys. Yeah. There it is. Nice.